Hey folks, this is Brian. I'm one of the co-founders and CTO here at Zapier. And today I want to show all something that we've been working on uh, the last couple of weeks and uh, months uh, here at Zapier called approval uh, by Zapier. And really what we're trying to do here is provide a new way uh, to do uh, some of the uh, long tail automations that you might have within your organization that aren't quite perfectly automatable. They need that kind of human touch in there uh, to uh, double check something before it kind of continues. And the whole idea is you take this approval step, slap it into some zap, um, and anything before that step um, will run just like normal, right? Um, anything after that step will halt and it'll hold until you've gone in and given it a thumbs up or maybe a thumbs down to stop uh, the rest of the, the zap. So, you know, we've been announcing this uh, a little bit uh, in our community and there's some cool use cases uh, that uh, folks have already started to dive into around like HR or IT where you want to have someone within the organization uh, you know, reject or approve uh, employee requests to leads um, kind of routing saying, oh, that's a high quality lead or, um, you know, that one's not qualified and reject that. Um, and one that I want to show today, which uh, is pretty cool, and you might have a similar uh, thing inside of your organization, is if you have a social media account, you want to allow folks within uh, the team to suggest things to be, you know, tweeted or posted to your Facebook page or Instagram page. And you don't really want to just give unfettered access like that to everyone because marketing team or the brand team really wants to uh, double check uh, the quality and kind of uh, the message that you're sending out. So this is kind of a great opportunity to use something like approval by Zapier to kind of interject um, between uh, the submission of ideas to go uh, to your social media account and the actual posting uh, to your social media account. So I'm gonna walk you through real quick what that looks like. So in this zap, we have actually a type form and I'll actually show you the type form that we have going on here. What would you like to tweet? It's a very simple form and this would be something you circulate within uh, your organization. And then after that step, you have a approval step. And this is kind of uh, the magic and what we're talking about here. Now, you can add the fields that you want here. Um, you can, you know, if you have fields like who submitted or uh, who, uh, uh, what department are they in, those sorts of things, you can add a bunch of information to this. It's not just restricted to this one item, um, but basically this allows you to kind of define the data that whoever is approving this needs to see to kind of make the decision they need to make, right? And this is kind of the first part of it where you set this up. There's also a second part, which is the inbox. So you really have two options here. You have the inbox that you can open right up and that's really authenticated to you and only you in your account. And you also have this kind of uh, secret unguessable link that you can really share with anyone. Um, and that link is not something that anyone on the internet is gonna be able to find. It's only whoever you share it with but they don't need to have a Zapier account, which is really nice for kind of sharing this within uh, your organization or you know, adding uh, uh, folks outside uh, of your Zapier account, um, the ability to thumbs up or thumbs down, these sorts of things. But it looks a little bit like something like this, right? Where uh, as this data comes flying through, you get more and more items in here and they kind of queue up and you can kind of thumbs up them or thumbs down them, uh, depending on what you would like uh, the next step to be. So in this case, it would either post to Twitter or it would not post to Twitter. And then finally, this kind of post to Twitter step is at the very end. Um, and it's really important that you make sure that you use the data coming from the approval step uh, because we have a lot of cool logic that really makes sure to run steps as best as it can, even if it doesn't rely on dependencies. Um, so you, it's really smart to make sure to select uh, the right item here rather than selecting the data, let's say from type form step um, here. So let's just show a real quick demo. So. Let's say you've shared this with your team and they are uh, coming up with ideas, right? So may maybe someone has uh, uh, something to suggest here. This is some bad news and it's got a sad face. And we're not sure if that's really on brand, but you know, we wanna put that out there. Uh, we don't have to worry about it going live uh, to Twitter, um, but it will go to our inbox. So um, let's have someone else suggest something like um, this is some good news and it has a smiley face um, and a smiley face is way more on brand for us so maybe a better chance of the marketing team uh, to give that a thumbs up so as we go back to this approval inbox now that zap was on so if you kind of look here it was turned on as we were kind of looking at it so we should be queuing these up so let's go ahead and just refresh this and we should see those two and oh yeah we do see the two new ones down here and you really have an option to uh thumbs up or thumbs down uh today so you know 
as we kind of predicted, the brand team is not a big fan of the bad news and the sad face, so they are going to go ahead and reject that. Um, but they do like the good news tweet, and they're going to go ahead and thumbs up uh, that one. Um, and the rest of these, they're holding off until it's time to actually post, so they're not going to click uh, approval on that. And as you go into this, you should see a refresh, and of course, the good news uh, has been tweeted out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I actually don't want that on my personal account uh, just sitting there. So the magic really behind this is that we're just halting these steps um, from continuing just like uh, maybe a delay step or other things that you might have used inside of Zapier. And you can actually even go in and look at these things and see what's kind of waiting from your task history. So it kind of just fits in to the rest of everything else. So you can see uh, the ones that I halted and a few that I've tested and a few that are still waiting, right? So a few of these are still waiting and we have three uh, that are still waiting. So it kind of makes sense that three are still waiting here. So I think this, I really suggest you all take a you know, uh, a, a test drive uh, with approval by Zapier. There's a lot of really cool use cases. And if you jump in here and you start using it, I really suggest you all try uh, to provide some feedback um, to me because we're working on improving this and making this even better. So there's a feedback suggestion option here under more options. Uh, and uh, give it a shot. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, happy zapping. See ya.